It's Chippy here from Ultraboot News and UMC Portal. We've just reviewed the Lenovo Yoga 11S, which is a really nice, both consumer and, I believe, uh, small business or professional user-based uh, sub-notebook with that really nice flip action. Really, really good quality device. I think uh, one of the best idea pads I've tested for a long time, and that includes the Yoga 13, because I think at 11.6 inch, this fits better with this, uh, this style of uh, convertible. But next up, and uh, I want to give you a quick overview of this now, is the similarly sized Yoga, no, uh, sorry, ThinkPad X240S. So there's the Yoga in front of the X240S. Now the ThinkPad X240S is obviously a little bit thicker there. It's focused at business. Now, if you don't know what uh, ThinkPad is all about, if you think of buying a laptop that's gonna last you two to five years in business use, that's where the ThinkPad uh, range is uh, is targeted with a lot more capability in terms of ports, um, high quality components, and flexibility in ordering um, different uh, specifications uh, from the word go. So you get a vast range of screen, SSD, memory, uh, uh, storage sizes, and security options as well. So let me take you quickly around the ThinkPad uh, X240. Now this is one of the lower end versions, but it's still coming in at around $1,100. I haven't got a um, price for you right now. Um, but I think it was about 1200 starts at nine nine four four uh, $944, but let's just take you around the device first. So as you can see, we've got a um, headset port, there's a USB, there's a full SD, and then you've got a carrier slot for a SIM card. Now the SIM card is not uh, in here. Uh, SIM, sorry, the 3G module is not in this one, but that's where the SIM card slot would be. Full gigabit Ethernet port on there and Kensington at the lock. Really nice, sturdy finish. It's a good uh, rubberized finish. It's a non slip uh, and uh, feels very, very high quality. A little bit, let's say, dense in terms of um, weight, uh, but that helps to actually think I'll give, it, give it a bit more of a quality feel. Another USB port here, fan output here. Now look carefully, you've got VGA with screw holes. Uh, so this is the, one of the you know minor differences that you get with some of the ThinkPads. It's got the screw holes for the VGA, so um, you can really uh, rely on it as your desktop um, connectivity for your monitor. You've also got another USB uh, port there. I'm sorry, that's the power port there. There's the USB, and then again, uh, a sort of head nod to business usage display port there which of course allows you to daisy chain uh, two external monitors uh, and still use the internal monitor so you can have a three screen setup with this there is a slot at the top there that's where the smart card option would be so you can get with the v pro versions uh, smart card option here there's a i'll show you where the fingerprint reader is on this as well uh, nothing much on the front there but on the base uh, let's uh, have a look at the important very important features here the one dock port which provides power as well and um, an external removable battery the interesting thing about this is it's got a power bridge capability that means there's another battery inside so when you pull this battery out it still runs. You can actually change the batteries while it's running. What hot swap feature is really, really useful if you're on the go and you've got a spare battery with you. Take this one out, slot this one in. You can also get a six cell one, which is 70, I think 72 watt hours, brings you up to very close to 100 watt hours of battery life here. That is 12 hours of, of work and uh, with Haswell, probably up to about 20 hours worth of, of video watching as well. So really, um, you know, that's one of the um, great features about ThinkPad range. You get these options on, on, on batteries as well. Now opening it up, of course, this is a ThinkPad with, with the ThinkPad um, uh, keyboard. Now, uh, in comparison with previous ThinkPads, this has got a slightly different hinge. It's got the lay flat uh, screen, which is nice and use usable once you get used to it because uh, you'll find a few scenarios. And one of them I want to tell you about is a seatback uh, scenario where you're on an aeroplane. Instead of working like that, but this really kind of works with touchscreen devices. You can flip that back out and just pop that on the on the on the tray and work like that. If you've got a touchscreen, it's actually really really nice usable uh, way of working. Just watch out that, that someone doesn't uh, kick their seat back and, uh, and knock it over. Backlit ThinkPad keyboard. Um, I need some more time with this. Uh, I've just finished testing the Dell. Uh, Latitude E7440, which I think has a fantastic keyboard. This does feel like it's got a higher quality keyboard, 
but it's very, very soft in comparison with the E7440, and I think soft in comparison with some of the other uh, ThinkPads I've tested as well. It feels very silky and nice and of high quality, but I um, don't know if it's missing and maybe a little bit of feedback. It just feels maybe a little bit too light for me, but certainly high quality as well. Backlit, as I said, you've got the touch point uh, here, and then notice that you've got a buttonless touchpad here. Now, I'm not liking this uh, as much as the uh, previous um, ThinkPads that had the separate buttons, especially when you're using the touchpad. I started off thinking that, that was the actual mouse button. Of course, I wasn't looking, wondering what the hell was going on. I'm actually hitting the space bar instead of what I should have been hitting down here. I think for people that are using the touch point, the mouse pad with no buttons is going to be more of a problem than anyone that's using it in a traditional way with um, using the, the mouse pad there and left and right mouse buttons on the bottom. It is feeling very high quality though, it's floating so the whole thing uh, presses in when you press it. So I really, I really think it's high quality but it, it's something you do need to test I think. Um, Maybe actually something everyone will get used to eventually anyway, so um, don't worry too much. But if you're really used to that touch point and the buttons there, beware. Fingerprint reader is there, so that's an option uh, on some versions. Uh, the CPU in here is Core i5-4200U. It's not the V Pro version. Of course, you can get Core i7s. You can get a V Pro version uh, as well. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get Core i3, but it's Haswell, so you get the really nice... Um, low uh, background drain, which really helps in lower usage scenarios like typing, office work, um, scenarios where there's a lot of um, um, idle. Um, and there's also one mode of video watching under Haswell, which is a really effective and you'll get um, huge amounts of uh, video watching out of this, so, so really useful on a long, long flight. The weight of it is, I'm just going to quickly look this up, 2.84 pounds, so it's not as light as, for example, the 11S there, and, and there are lighter 12.5 inch uh, devices. This one has a 136 by 768 screen as well, which, which could have been better, I think. 1600 by, by 900 would have been uh, maybe optimal, but then if they're looking at an older, older usage base for this, and um, like myself who doesn't have 2020 vision, 1366 by 768 might be the uh, the right trade off. Trade off, but you do have a 1920 by 1080 uh, screen option and touch as well. So if you do need uh, the higher resolution, you can go extreme and go uh, full HD on on this as well. Uh, four gigs of RAM in this one and webcam. You've got the dual array mics, uh, TPM module 1.2 in this, I believe, as well. No connected standby. Uh, yeah, that's about it for, for the moment. Um, it feels like a great device. I know that um, it is a quality device, and I know that it's gonna. It would serve very well and be very productive. The only thing that I think for, uh, is missing a little bit. And I think business users are going to start to demand this. Is a little bit more style. Um, you know, that is a nice productive uh, idea pad. Um, and I think it suits some pro users as well. Um, this one is, is, is very, very boring, plain, and productive, and it's not that exciting. If you're a, if you're a self-employed, or if you're in uh, working in an environment where, where style is important, uh, you're working in the um, fashion industry, or photography, or video, where you know style is, is sometimes very important, this one doesn't really deliver on that. But it is obviously a productive device. That's just a quick overview. Uh, is there anything else I just quickly want to tell you? This has got the hard drive. It hasn't got the SSD in, but I might be able to do a SSD swap out. Centrino BGN. Might even have the AC module in here as well with good antennas. I know that already. And I think this is Windows 7, not Windows 8. So that actually might uh, suit some business users as well. Um, ultraworknews.com is where we'll have the uh, full review of this going up and uh, please don't hesitate to ask questions if there is any specific tests you want done on this and I do have one lined up in terms of um, uh, Photoshop I think um, I think Photoshop I've got a few tests to do with some raw files just to see how quickly it is to churn through those and see whether it could be uh, a photo an ideal photographers in the field uh, device. It does have that full SD card slot, although I think um, CF uh, slots are still, uh, compact flash uh, cards are still being used by a lot of pro photographers. Anyway, 
that's one of the tests I got lined up. If you've got one you want me to do, please drop something in the comments. I'm sorry this video has been so quick, blah, 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 blah. but I do need to uh, kind of squash this one down a bit um, because um, you'll get all the juicy stuff in the full review, which will be a much more relaxed video, I promise. Lenovo ThinkPad X240. My name's Chippy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.